So there's a recent discussion on R flashlights and the, also the subreddit R Hank lights about the differences between getting a D4 V2 from Hank versus a D4 S V2. And I wanted to go over the uh, differences with you. Now, in front of me tonight, I've got a KR4, uh, which will stand in for a D4 V2. It's basically the same light, just a tail switch. And a D4 S V2 in cyan color right here. And they're gonna run very similarly to each other. Um, I just want to point out a couple things that I already know, which is the D4 V2 or the KR4, that's the one I'm shaking here, is going to be a more pocketable light. It's just a little tinier, a little easier to fit in your pocket. It's not that you can't fit a D4S into your pocket, it's just that it's kind of chonky and uh, it's a little bit of a mass to carry. You can see that it's a wider diameter, uh, about the same length, a little taller. Uh, you can fit this in your pocket, but just feels more substantial in a bad way in your pocket. However, um, when you're carrying it for, let's say, a walk, I actually prefer, prefer the D4S. It just uh, has a better feel to it in hand. So uh, let's take a look at how they affect the beam shot. The reason why I'm using my KR4, not actual DR, a D4V2 somewhere else, is because uh, I've got it set up with the exact same emitters and the drivers that will make this really apparent. So here we go. Let's start with the KR4. That is, let me just make sure that it's on high. There you go, that's high. So this is on high. This is measured on my lumen tube as a thousand lumens. This is a Nietzsche 219B uh, SW45K, so 4500 Kelvin uh, with rosy tint. And that's what it looks like. Now, this is the 10622 uh, narrow optics, so the non frosted ones, not the 10621, so it's not the, the really narrow, but it's the narrow ones that Hank offers. Now, let me go ahead and switch to the D4 SV2. I'll come from the same side here, and let's make sure I ramp up. And you'll notice that it's uh, like throwier, there, it's more. Um, centered around a hot spot so let's uh let's actually lock this a little bit here mm -hmm. lock these figures let me go back to the care four you can see oh, let me make sure it's at top of ramp you can see that it's more spread out it's more even let me switch back now so now this is the D the s you can see it's got like a like a hot spot let me go side by side if i can okay there you go so there you go. You can see there's like a, a, a hotter hot spot in the center and the overall circle is larger too. So here, let me get these so you can see that they're about equal distance. Uh, there we go. That's a pretty good shot. So you can see that uh, this is kind of throwier than this. Now, um, why is there a difference in color temp on the screen? It's not big. There's a little bit. I just chalked that up to the fact that uh, the... the brighter, throwier, concentrated center here is giving a different look. If I ramp down a little bit, see, there you go. That looks like the tint's kind of similar. Oops, let me get this as similar as possible. Okay. Yeah, it looks pretty similar. It's just more concentrated. Let me ramp down even further. Yeah, you see that tint looks pretty fair. Now, here's another thing. I'm not running on turbo here, guys. I'm running it high. We're running at 1,000 lumens. The... Uh, Care 4, let me redo my exposure. The Care 4 is, is, is very toasty right now. It's very hot in my hand, whereas this is well, just above room temperature. So that's really the reason you go to the S. Uh, it is a little throwier optics, but there's just a lot more mass here. There's a lot more uh, MC, PCB, a lot of more metal core in there to distribute, distribute heat. And so, um, basically, if you want pocketability, pocketability, you're going to go with the KR4. If you want uh, better performance, you're going to go with the, D, uh, the D4S V2. Now, let's take a look at it long range. Okay, let's see here. Uh, okay, so let's take a look on this tree here. You can see that uh, it lights up tre tree in a lot more. So now I'm in between the tr those two trees, and that's on high again. And then here's the D4S. You can see it's more concentrated. It's pretty much just on that tree. 
So yeah, again, it, it's a throwier optic than the Care 4. The Care 4 on my left here and the D4S on my right. And these are both running on high. Let me just make sure it's the top of ramp, it is. And make sure this is on the top of ramp, it is. So here you go. So here's the D4S and I'll center on the, the tree. Here's the Care 4. So you can see that the D4S definitely has more candela. It's just all up to the optic. These are both calibrated at a thousand lumens. I made sure that my Care 4 is running exactly the same as the D4S in my lumen tube. Now let's go down long range at those palm trees at the end of the street. So there's some palm trees down there and they're getting lit up a little bit by the D4S. And let's go with the Care 4. And there's no contest. The D4S is a lot better than this Care 4 slash D4 V2 would be. Now I'm going to turn them off and just note that again, this is quite hot right now. It is a titanium body, so that doesn't help. The all aluminum body is gonna spread it out more, but even with my aluminum D4 V2s, I find that the, uh, the S is just a great model for sustained time on a high or turbo. Now let's do turbo. Now I'm gonna tell you right now that these have slightly different drivers in them. Uh, this has got the nine amp driver and I've got 50% FET enabled through uh, Endurial firmware. So this one on turbo does 2200 lumens for like the first second. It quickly drops to 2000 lumens in like the first three, four seconds. And then it quickly drops down to about 1700 lumens after about uh, 30 seconds. This one, however, starts at 1850 lumens and kind of sustains that for a while. So uh, I would think that after 30 seconds, both of these would be very equal. Let's take a look. Okay. And, and, and I'm also going to tell you something else before I do it. This one, will be totally comfortable to hold after 30 seconds. This one is gonna be really uncomfortably hot right here. Like it would, it would burn me hot. Whereas I could hold it back here on the titanium. So here we go. I'm looking at my time code on my video here. So we're gonna start it right about now. There's turbo, Whoop. oh wait, hang on, let me, full start, full start. We're gonna go in five seconds. Okay, let me make sure I got this right. Okay, get these started. Okay, and click, 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 click. Okay, so they're both on turbo. Okay, so there they are, and I will do them up in the air. And we're only about, oh, 10 seconds in right now. I'm looking at the time code. So here is the 4S on turbo. Uh, let me make sure that I'm focused and locked. D4S on turbo, and then here is the KR4 on turbo. D4S, KR4. I just hit 30 seconds, guys. Let me click them off really quick and talk about the heat. Okay, the D4S is totally fine. Like, I can tell it's warm around the head, but it's totally fine. This one, yeah, it's like really hot right here. Really hot right around the copper. All right, let's, oh yeah, it's, it's toasty. It's actually getting worse because I think it's spreading out to the body now. But let's, uh, Let's try and look at it on high again. So, there you go. There's the palm trees at the end. Oh, there we go, now I'm on turbo. And you can see how this looks. Okay, and let's do the KR4. Okay, that's turbo. So I would, oh God, it's getting so hot. There's not a huge difference in look. I mean, you gotta give it to the D4S. The D4S is just mo much more uh, throwy. Uh, I mean, much is probably an overstatement. It's throwier. But the fact of the matter is, it's just a much better light in every other way. You can see that if there's more candela, you can see that, uh, oh, see, look how much that's stepped down already. Guys, it's stepped down considerably. Oh, and it's so hot. Wow, let me try and step it up again. Oh, it won't even, it won't even do it. Let's see if I can. Okay, there it goes. But guys, it's getting it's getting like hot to where I'm I'm worried about holding it. So there you go. There's the difference. Uh, this one is like 2,000 lumens sustained for a certain uh, serious amount of time, and this one's like 2,000 lumens in theory only. You get it for like five seconds to show you to your friends, and then you have to use it like much lower. So again, they're both Nietzsche 219B emitters, uh, same color temp, same everything. Um, it's just the host we're talking about. So. 
If you care about an EDC and you care about pocketability, you're going to go with the D4 or the KR4. But if you care about performance, you'll go with the D4S every time. There you go.